Hello and a warm welcome from Red Oak Consulting and our partners, Microsoft and Intel, to this video series. I'm Manvir and today I'm going to be showing you how easy it is to set up a high performance computing cluster on Microsoft Azure using Azure Cycle Cloud. Now, this video series is linked to a series of three white papers, which will be referenced at the end of the video series. And these white papers contain everything you're about to see in a lot more detail. So please do go and have a look at those. Now, this video series consists of three videos. In this video, I will shortly be showing you how to deploy the necessary cloud resources to begin deploying a HPC cluster. So this will be stuff like virtual machines, storage drives, virtual network infrastructure, etc. In the next video, we will be configuring Azure Cycle Cloud. Now, Azure Cycle Cloud is Microsoft Azure's HPC management and orchestration service. By the end of the second video, we will have turned on our HPC cluster. And then in the final third video, we will log into the HPC cluster, have a quick peek around, and we will also submit an MPI job. So let's get started. And currently I am on the Azure portal. I am going to search for Cycle Cloud. So let's select Cycle Cloud there. We then select Cycle Cloud from the marketplace. The next thing we want to do is select preset configuration. I will be using the dev test configuration today because this is a demo, but you can choose other configurations depending on your workload. So let's select that, click continue. And then we will have a series of fields to fill out. So the first thing we need to decide on is virtual machine name. Now this virtual machine will be the so-called Cycle Cloud Orchestrator virtual machine, and it will be responsible for provisioning and deprovisioning virtual machines in the HPC cluster. So I'm going to call the virtual machine Cycle Cloud demo. The resource group in which it sits will be named automatically after that. We then need to select a region. I'm going to select West Europe as it's the closest useful region to me. I will leave the size of the virtual machine as is, but the important thing here is that we use eight Gibby bytes of memory or more. And finally, I am going to create an SSH key pair to log into this virtual machine. Now you can use a pair you already have lying around, but for this demo, I'm going to create a new pair and call it Cycle Cloud Demo Key. In the next tab, there is nothing to change. In the networking tab, there is also nothing to change for now, but just in case, this subnet range should not be 172.16.0.0 backslash 16, because that IP range does not contain InfiniBand connections, and InfiniBand connections are one of the great advantages of Microsoft Azure. In fact, at the time of filming, Azure offers the fastest interconnect available on the public cloud. So we really want to be using that InfiniBand. In the next tab, the management tab, there is something we want to select, and that is system assigned managed identity. This will later allow us to actually give permissions to our virtual machine to provision and deprovision other virtual machines in the HPC cluster. Okay, so we then go to review and create. Wait a few seconds. We can then select create again, at which point we will be prompted to download the private SSH key. So I'm going to download that. And then the resources will begin deploying. And we will need to wait a couple of minutes for this to complete. So let's wait a couple of minutes. Okay, so the resources have now deployed and we will now click go to resource and this will take us to the recently deployed virtual machine. We then want to go to this identity section and we want to select as your role assignments, add role assignment, and we then need to select a scope, which is going to be the subscription here. And for role, we want to select contributor. Now, this is the simplest thing you can do to quickly set up a cluster. However, if you had stronger security needs, you might choose a different scope, such as just a resource group. And for role, you might create a custom role, which only does what you want it to. And for that, I would recommend looking at the Cycle Cloud documentation. But I'm going to click Save here. And then we're almost done with the first video. I just want to run through the resources we have deployed. So let's go to our resource group. 
And so we have our virtual machine, we have various virtual network infrastructure, we have our SSH key, we have storage disks, and finally we have an IP address, which I'm going to copy now since we will be visiting it in the next video to configure CycleCloud. So that's it for this first video. In the next video, we will configure CycleCloud. I'll see you in the next video.